going to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhar Kadash. The Bible the Apostles of Great Mill, Son of Ruel. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, pushing his word sincerely and true. Briskly allows to do so, bringing in the house of David. This is your brother Power Out coming with another video. And basically, I'm just laying, I'm going to lay him back off of uh, Apostle Aramla's video uh, entitled, uh, This is Why We Call You the Devil, Usury. And usury is really is one of the most wickedest things you can do to to the to the poor. You know, you're already struggling to survive. <clears throat> then this devil, in order to get anything, he put he he put usury on you. Say like you fall up on hard times and you need a vehicle to get back and forth to work, and you don't have much money. But this damn devil will try to uh, extract it, everything out of you, man. First he want money down, then he want uh, for you to trade in your vehicle. Then he gonna hit you with an exorbitant amount of interest, which is usury in the Bible. But he could put, but he proclaims that we're all brothers. That's it's, it's total BS, man. And the Lord said you didn't. You're not supposed to <clears throat> uh, uh, use usury. You post it uh, if you uh, say like you uh, you give a, 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 a say like you sell a man a car. You just supposed to sell him the car for what is what the what the price of the car is. You're not supposed to attack interest on it. You know this devil is just. It's just wicked, man. And people can't even see it, man. You'll, you'll buy a car, and let's just say the car is 15000 15, By the time you get through paying for it with interest, you didn't give him twenty five grand. So you didn't give him what the car was worth, plus an extra 10000 just going in his pocket for free. Just because he need the car, and you're going to take advantage of him, by uh, putting usury on them, as the new world call it, interest. It, it's just completely wicked. It's a it's an unrighteous decree, like it says in uh, Isaiah the tenth chapter. Born unto you the decree unrighteous decrees. I mean, it's just it's just wickedness, man. But they don't understand why we call them the devil. Only the de only a devil would do something like that. If if you proclaim that we all supposed to get along and where's the love and all that shit, but then why are you putting usury on the people? You know, it's just it's just a a a a, a, a fork tongue devil. He say one thing, but he mean another. And and the scriptures in uh. Uh, James tell you that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's double-minded. You say it in one hand, let's let's come together, let's be brothers, which the Bible don't support coming together. He separated the nations. The Lord, Yahweh Bashanah Shah, is a separatist. He didn't say come together. Each, you know, he gave the uh the uh the land and divided it up amongst the nations. According to the number of, according to Israel, you know, he divided everything up. You got your land, that you got your land, you got your land. Wasn't supposed to be no mingling, but that's that's another topic for another day. That, but this usury, it's just totally wicked, man. There's no getting around it. And they prey on the poor. You got uh uh. Uh, payday loans in in, 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 the, in in your neighborhood that's just designed to just to completely rip you off because if you get you get a payday loan you'll never be able to pay it back because the interest is so high you'll just keep owing and that is no way to run a society that's why Esau's uh, 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 kingdom is falling down for all the usury 
unjust uh, weights and balances, man, is just complete wickedness. Read a couple of scriptures on usury. This is Leviticus 25 and 36. Take thou no usury of him, nor increase, or increase, but fear thy power that thy brother may live with thee. You're not supposed to uh, uh, basically grease your brother, man. That's greasing your brother <clears throat> with usury. You loan him some money. Say you loan him $20, but you want him to give you 30 back. That is completely wicked. And you know he's poor. You know he don't got it. If, if he had it, he wouldn't even came to you in the first place. So you're going to use his uh, time of need and capitalize on it. That ain't what brother's supposed to be doing. Uh, let's see. Exodus 22 and 25. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him in, in a in sure, neither shall, shall thou lay upon him usury. Yeah, if, you, if, if your brother is poor, you're not supposed to ex, exploit him by taking advantage of him. That's just complete wickedness, man. You ain't supposed to take advantage of your brother when he in a time of need, man. Y'all supposed to come together. You see your brother in need. You're supposed to just give it to him. And you shouldn't even... Me personally, if I give a brother some money or whatever, I ain't looking for it back. And I, it's no big deal. If the Lord bless me to, to, to help out a brother, then that's what it's for. It's not to... To 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 uh, make money off of and, and and have and put my brother in a worse state than he is in the in the beginning. He come to you in need because he because he's hurting. But I'm a, I'm gonna hurt you even more by putting usury. It's called loan sharking, man. And that's what this world is. It's a bunch of goddamn loan sharks, man. Everybody's trying to get over on everybody. How can a society stand when, when you got people with that kind of thought mentality? That everything, you must capitalize on any uh, transaction being done. Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. <laughs> I'm making it. <coughs> it's a lot of you blew out of the weather, but that's crazy. And that's what this society... Uh, uh, Esau pushes in that uh, capitalist society. It's somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. And it's always the poor that loses. You know? So that's who I'm going to capitalize on. The poor. You know? The people that don't have much, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them for everything they got. But then, I'm going to have soup kitchens and all that to to uh, disguise the debauchery, the wickedness that that I that I uh, portray, you know, that's what these so-called white people do. They they do all this fucking wickedness and debauchery towards the people, but then they will have some fucking goddamn telethon trying to be like they nice people and they try to help people, but in the same breath we try to fuck you. Excuse my French. Every chance we get, that's just it's it's just completely backwards and hypocritical, and that's why the Lord said this is a hypocritical uh, uh, nation, man. It's it's just full of hypocrisy, man. At one point, uh, they want to show they they, they want to show the world how giving America is, <laughs> but on the other hand, they bombing the shit out of you, taking your resources. Uh, uh, putting economic hitmen in your country to take it over, all in the name of democracy. It's ridiculous, man. Totally ridiculous. 
you know. Just a uh, a video, a quick video. It was hopefully it was edifying. Just land backing off the Apostle Ryan Block. Uh, I want to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kwa Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle Great Millstone and Ruel, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. With that, Shalom.